Hi everybody, PJ here. Now like uh, many many people years ago in the 80s and so I used to be a CB'er but mm, I don't know CB seems to be dead and it's not like it used to be nothing at all like it used to be so what happens if you decide you want to do something else what happens if you decide you want to be a radio ham and you think to yourself that sounds really interesting but it sounds difficult right well what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the different kind of licenses first so the first license that you get is a foundation license I mean you can go straight for the top license if you like but initially most people go for the foundation license now the foundation license isn't all that difficult uh, I studied for about two weeks and I studied online and then I took my test online so I didn't have to go anywhere and do anything I did everything online which made it really really easy now you don't have to do it like that you can join uh, or go to a radio ham club and do all the training that can you see my my cat up here look this is boo boo I've got another one called bonkers <laughs> it's called bonkers because he is bonkers but anyway uh, you can go to a radio hand club and do all the training there and most of the time you can take the exam at the radio club but I found it much easier to do it online. The second license you can have is what they call an intermediate license. Now a foundation license allows you to transmit on, uh, and receive on certain frequencies and the intermediate license gives you that little bit more scope. On a foundation license you can only transmit up to 25 watts but with an intermediate license you can transmit up to 100 watts. Now the exam is a little bit more difficult and they go into the electronics a little bit more etc etc but um, I don't think it's beyond the realm of the average person to get an intermediate license. In fact, I'm starting to study for the intermediate license as we speak. Well, not as we speak, but, you know, because I'm sat talking to a camera. But, uh, yes, I'm studying for the intermediate license now. The next license is what they call a full license. Can you hear my phone dinging in the, in the background? My daughter's in hospital, or, my, sorry, my granddaughter's in hospital, having her tonsils out, and my daughter's with her, and so is Mrs. PJ. So uh, they're all texting one another, telling everybody what's going on. Anyway, yes, the full license. The full license gives you uh, the availability to go through any of the uh, frequencies that are allowed to a radio ham, and it allows you to transmit up to a thousand watts. Now that's a hell of a lot of power. So there's the three. Di three different type of line went like that but it's, it's actually three <laughs> they're the three different type of licenses that you can get if it was me I would start off on the intermediate license and then go uh, sorry start on the foundation start on the foundation license and then go for the intermediate and maybe that's enough for you maybe the foundation license is enough for you you know work through the three different type of licenses now being a radio ham can be as difficult and complicated as you want it to be you can just be a basic radio ham that uses something like this and this radio here and just do two meters and 70 centimeters get on the repeaters and just ta chat to people a locally or on the repeaters throughout the world um, you know so far I've spoken to people in America and in Europe and all that kind of stuff you know just having a, a basic foundation license you can talk to loads and loads and loads of different people and like I say it's not that difficult I mean if I can do it anyone could do it then on the other hand you've got the complicated stuff now this is digital radio and to be honest at the moment I don't know a lot about it I don't have any digital radios but I do intend to start going down that path eventually and having a look at digital radios 
The other thing you can do is you can stick a, a mobile receiver in your motor and uh, then, you know, like I do, I get the missus to drive and I can play about with my radio while we're going up to Durham to my daughters and, and things like that and talk to different people on different repeaters once again all over the world. We went to Durham last weekend and I was chatting to somebody down on the south coast and it, it's, it's dead easy. My phone keeps dinging, doesn't it? <laughs> so, you know, you can still chat to people just on very, very simple radios. Now, when this radio comes, I'll uh, I'll show you the radio. I'll do a very quick unboxing. I'm not really into into unboxing, and I'll tell you a little bit about it when it comes. But once again, it's just a basic, simple radio that works on two meters and seventy centimeters. Hang on, I'll put my teeth in in a minute. Um, but it fits in the car, and it's twenty five watts. So it gives me that extra bit of power. And the beauty of it is, I can plug it in the house, connect it to an aerial outside when I get one, and use it as a base station as well. So it is simple, it is easy to use, it's not complicated. It's not like some of these uh, software defined radios and these digital radios that until you get your head around it, and it can take a bit to get your head around it, are quite difficult to use. Now some people put in the comments, nah it's not that hard, I don't know a lot about it, so as far as I'm concerned at the moment it's difficult, I might find it easy when I get to have a go. Okay, right, so where did I do my training online? I went to um, Essex Ham, I will leave a link below to the uh, Essex Ham website, uh, and the beauty of this is you do it all on the internet and the training is absolutely free. They don't charge you. These wonderful people from Essex Ham, they've built a whole program to get you through the foundation license. Now, unfortunately, they don't do the intermediate license. I wish they did because the foundation course was absolutely fantastic. But you can do your foundation license totally online through Essex Ham, you do uh, one module at a time. I believe there's nine different modules ranging from technical to, well, all sorts of things. And at the end of each module, you get a, a short test to see how you've done. Halfway through the course, you get a test to see how you're doing. And when you've completed the course, I think it's three mock exams that you can do to see, you know, what kind of results you're going to get when you actually take the uh, exam. Now, for the priceless sum of £10, you can buy an extra 10 mock exams and they chip you an extra one in on top of that, which is a more difficult exam. It's uh, a bit more intense. Uh, to be honest, I never had a go at it. I just did the ones that, uh, you know, the basic exams and I did that for the last couple of days before I did the actual test with the uh, Radio Society of Great Britain. Now, um, I did apply to take the test uh, before I'd completed the training because I did know that it's usually about two to three weeks between you applying and you actually getting your test. Now, once I applied for the test, they sent me an email with a link uh, and they did um, like a, an interview over the um, over the internet on uh, I think it was uh, is it Google Teams or Microsoft Teams or whatever, and you got to speak to the actual person that was taking you for the exam, and he told you what to expect and you know told you how to go about the obviously he didn't tell you how to pass it. But he told you what to expect and, and how to go about doing the exam. Just give you a, uh, a bit of advice, you know, take your time. Make sure you really read the questions. Once you get to the end, go back through and check all your answers and everything else like that. So I did that and then about four days later, I actually took the test. Now I wanted a bit of peace and quiet. I didn't want to sit in the kitchen with people coming in and out and things. So... I went upstairs in the bedroom, sat there, did the test. It took me about 20 minutes and he told me straight away, 
yes you've passed. This was on a Thursday uh, and on a Saturday my license actually dropped through the door. So as soon as my license dropped through the door I went on the Radio Society uh, site and you get uh, a code, you put that code in and you pick your call sign and as soon as you've done that you're legal and you're ready to go. So you know it's it's quite straightforward it's it's nothing too difficult so have a go now that's all i've got to say really about the uh, about passing the exam it's not difficult it really isn't uh, and i'm really looking forward to having a go at doing the intermediate exam uh, and the train obviously the training for it because um, i just like that little bit more freedom i'm also looking at uh, getting into some of this digital radio, D-Star and DMR and Fusion and all that kind of stuff. And when I do, I shall put some videos on, letting you know how I've got on. Anyway, that's about it for today. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you want to know anything, if I can answer it, I will answer it. I try and answer as many uh, comments as I can, obviously, as you can probably appreciate, I get a hell of a lot of comments. But, you know, if you want to know anything or you've got any comments, down there is the place. And like I said, I will leave a link to the uh, Essex Ham website so that if you do decide to go down the road of getting a ham licence, then that's the place to go. These people are absolutely fantastic. Uh, oh, by the way, at the end, and this is at the end, not before you start the course. They ask if you want to make a donation to uh, Essex Ham to, so they can keep up this fantastic work. And I'll be honest, I did. I sent them a few quid. Uh, and it was well worth it. I mean, you don't have to. The course is free. But, you know, I'm not, I might be tight, but I'm not quite Ebenezer Scrooge by humbug. So I did send them a few quid. So anyway, if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, please share, please subscribe. If you're interested in becoming a Radio Ham, go for it. And I'll see you there in the next one. Bye everybody, I'll see you soon.